what's up everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be giving you guys a soccer vlog <laughs> i'm gonna be giving you guys a soccer vlog if you guys follow me on instagram and snapchat then you guys have been seeing that i've been talking about how i wanted to do soccer vlogs and how i bought a soccer ball and it finally came and yesterday i was playing outside i'll insert some clips because i was just kind of messing with the ball a little bit all right, you guys, I got my soccer ball in the mail. I haven't touched a ball in how long. It's crazy. But um, I'm kind of just messing with it. Getting control of the ball again. I'm gonna put the camera down because I don't wanna be walking around with it. But I'm so excited. And I'm gonna just kick the ball to the wall. And then Trippy came out and joined me. So that was cool, but today I told Trippy that I wanted to go to an actual park because I want to shoot at the goal and be on the grass. It's different playing on the cement. Like if you play soccer, then you know it just feels different. Like it, being on the grass is a different feeling and I want to smell it. And I don't know, I just want to be back on the field. So I'm going to give you guys basically a little like history. It's hot in here. I'll tell you guys about my background with soccer. <clears throat> So I basically started playing when I was, I think like five. I started playing micro soccer, which um, is the youngest that you can play. That's like when you're little and you, you just want to get your kids into sports. So my mom and my dad put me into sports. My dad always played soccer. He put my older brother and my older sister. So growing up, I would always go to their games and watch them practice. So I was already into it. I knew I wanted to play. So my dad put me into micro soccer and <clears throat> I remember being really good for my age because um, when my brother and my sister, so my brother and my sister played on the same team. It was like a boys team and my, I think my sister was the only girl on that team. And um, whenever they would go to practice, I would join in on the practice and I was hella little. I was probably like seven, super small, but the coach, um, his name was Russell. I'll never forget him because he literally taught me everything that I know now. He would always tell me like, come practice with us. And sometimes he would have me do like different things or he would have me go in on the, like the drills or whatever they were doing. So I felt like my skills were more advanced than someone that was my age that was just going to normal practices with people their age. And I remember during one of those practices, I was super young and, um, I had gotten hit like I was I was on I was doing a drill with them and my brother was like what they're three years older than me so if I was eight they were like 11 so all the kids were like 10 11 and the person that they paired me with was like one of the biggest guys on the team he was really like chubby and I don't know why they paired me with him and we're just like kicking the ball and this guy like kicks the ball so hard like all his strength and it hit me right in my stomach and knocked the air out of me like <laughs> like oh my god I remember it so clearly like I'll never forget the, when this happened so he hit my stomach and I passed out so I passed out and I'm I like I literally passed out I remember waking up and when I woke up uh, the coach had my legs and he was just like pulling them in and out to the left he was pulling them in and out like trying to get air back into my body and then i just remember like being like what the fuck just happened because i felt like i had just woke up from a dream and then all of a sudden i see like all the kids are around me and they're all just looking at me like oh shit is she okay the coach is over here like making sure i'm good and then i ended up started i started to cry because i didn't know what was going on and after that i did not want to play soccer anymore like i told my mom i was like i'm done i don't want to play like that hurt me so bad and it scared me like i did not want to go on the field again i was like fuck no like if that happens when you get hit in the stomach like i don't ever want to go through that again and i remember i went through a phase where i just didn't play for like a while and every practice the coach would be like come on come play and i would be like no like always had an excuse like my head hurts or i have homework and like i just wouldn't want to play and then finally he was like no get up like he made me get up and he was like go start running go start practicing and he got me back 
in the game basically and ever since then I was playing soccer <clears throat> I ended up joining a team and when I was 10 um, actually one of the coaches reached out to my mom and they were like your daughter's really good like we want to have her on our team um, the only thing is is that they were U14 and I was only 10 so I ended up being like one of the youngest players that they had and I just I went with it because I was already so used to playing with kids that were older I felt like kids my age it was too easy for me like I would have just been like going through everybody so I was playing I basically my whole life I played like above my age so when I was 14 15 I was playing U18 when I was supposed to be playing U16 and then when I turned 16 um, the team that I was on <clears throat> they were already because they were all U18 they were about to graduate high school um, the team split up and that was basically the end of my career at that point I was like a freshman in high school and I started being bad and I didn't have a team to I didn't have my team anymore like everyone was already doing their own thing and I kind of just lost it like after that I was just like I don't want to I don't even want to play anymore I didn't want to join a new team like I was so scared to started start with a new team i don't know i was just so used to the people that i had grew up with like i played with them since i was like 14 and then until i was like 16 17 and then that was it so i've been basically out of the game since i was like 17 now i'm 26 and it's almost like 10 years but i've always still wanted to play i never wanted it to like leave and i never felt like i Never, I don't know how to explain it like I still want to play I don't know if that makes sense so we're going to a field where is it at? it's that go that way hmm? keep going <clears throat> but you're gonna have to go around it though you can make a uh, right uh, I'll show you guys when we get there that's basically my soccer story I did play a little bit in high school my freshman year um, I played like two games but and then my grades dropped and they kicked me off the team and then after that I never made grades again to be able to play so that's what happened but we're about to reach the field so hopefully there's goals there that we can shoot at and then you're gonna make a left all right we made it onto the field I see some soccer goals but they're all the way over there and I think I gotta move them so hopefully no one comes out and says anything You doing? Stretching. You stretching? Yeah, I gotta work out the knee <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? It's a stretch. I thought they were gonna come ask me and play with the balls. I, I know. Like, oh, I cannot. It's Corona out there. <laughs> okay. Nice ass for you. Pretty good, baby. Does the wind affect you? I could do it. 
try now. You try. <laughs> no, I'm not trying. We are done. I haven't been putting in that much time, but it's because I've been tired lately. But that was a good workout. Look out for your legs. Look out for your legs. I'm gonna try to start coming like all the time now. Because it's the best workout for your legs. Like if you guys are really trying to work your legs out, go outside and shoot the ball. Or even just do like those little drills that I was doing. But yeah, we're going to go back home. I got to take a shower. Get ready. It's Wavy Wednesday. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the fruit roll up challenge. We just woke oh I just woke up from a nap. It's 9:24. My mom bought fruit roll ups and we were like, let's try the fruit roll up challenge. So if you guys are ready, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you guys are new. If you guys don't know who he is, that's Trippy. That's my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> Right. So basically how you do this is you each get a fruit by the foot and you open it up. Oh, I got the red one first. So. I, I don't care. These are much better. This smells good. Okay. And then you're going to unravel right. the whole thing. I used to love this. And cool. take it out of the paper. No, okay. no, you don't have to do all that, do you? Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to have it... <clears throat> Just like this. Mm. Who do you think is gonna win, huh? <laughs> I, I think you're gonna win. No, don't rip it, cause then you're gonna you're gonna mess it up. Okay, and then you're both gonna put it in your mouth, and on the count of three, yeah, like that. Okay, on the count of three, you put your hands behind your back and you start going. Ready? One, two, three. No, no, no. Look at this. <laughs> Should be game. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty hard, but it was pretty fun. I felt, I felt like it, it, it wouldn't, it wasn't gonna like end, you know. Oh my god! Just kept going and going. Mm. That's what I thought you were gonna choke. At, at one point, I spilled like, water hit the, all over me. It hit the back of my throat, and like, I managed to like chill and not gag. No, it was just like it was too much. <laughs> My mouth would get filled and then I had to like move it to the side. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> mm, that was hard. Round two. Maybe we'll do round two later. But that was it for the fruit roll up challenge. <laughs> okay. Two thousand years later. Say hi. What's your name? Say, my name is Savannah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, not your belly. They don't want to see your belly. Say, my name is Savannah. How old are you? Say, I'm one years old. Good job. 
And do you like your tia? Yeah? Your tia's nice? Yeah? Okay. Come on, let's go. Time to go. Go. <clears throat> Time to go. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Wait, where are you going? Where do you want to go? Let's go. What's wrong? What's wrong? You're gonna fall, girl. <laughs> My dear. Ah. My dear. Ah. My dear. My dear. You spoiled? Yeah. You spoiled you? Ah. Yeah? Ah. Ah. You have to do whatever you want. Yeah. Oh. Anna. <laughs> You're crazy, you know that? <laughs> Come on, get up. This why I can't have kids, y'all. You, know, you want Thea to have a baby? No. Do I? No. Serena, you want Thea to have a baby? Uh oh. No, huh? You want to be the only baby, huh? You want to be the only baby, huh? You want to be the only baby? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Quarantine got her leg. <laughs> he locked up. You're gonna fall. <laughs> You're gonna fall. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for my video. It was a little bit of a lot of things. You guys were on quarantine, so we're bored. So it's just a whole bunch of random things. But I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. I got so many more videos for you guys that are coming. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys have your notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next one.